Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we'll be playing some more Fallout 3. But in this episode, we'll be doing another unique weapon guide. And I'll be teaching you how to get Lincoln's repeater. And it's a repeater, actually. And it runs off 44 Magnum bullets. And first of all, you want to come here. I'll show you it on the map. To the Museum of History, right here. To the Museum of History, yeah. And this is actually a really good weapon. So what you want to do, once you come here, there'll be a ghoul standing right outside. Um, you can just ignore her or talk to her if you like. But what you want to do is you want to walk straight in here. And once you're inside, you just want to keep, keep heading straight on. And I think you need to go left right here to this door. And once you're inside... Yeah, you want to kill some ghouls, so there's going to be quite a bit of ghouls in here, so, yeah. i just switch to the assault rifle. You need to kill some of the ghouls. Yeah, there's quite a lot of ghouls to kill in here, by the way, so... You might want to quick save a couple of times if you're low on health. But there's going to be some down here. And yeah, you can search the corpses and things like that. You can read some of the plates here, but... What we're looking for is the Lincoln's repeater that we need. So you want to head straight towards this door once you've killed the ghouls. Museum of History offices. And once you're inside the offices, you want to go down the stairs, or up the stairs actually. And once you're here, you'll see a cell door and some ghouls. have to kill some of these as well. There we are, so we just killed the ghouls. Yeah, so we have a bobby pin in here. What else do we have? Harmonica. Okay, nice. Doors locked, but you want to keep going straight forward to um, this cell door right here, and you'll see some weapons on the floor. But you want to pick the lock, you should be able to do it from the start, considering it's very easy. But yeah, okay, so once you're in, you pick out these currents right here because there's gonna, there's gonna be some currents. And let's go and use Stimpak. Okay, so yeah, let's mark. there's some more goals in here as well. Okay, so... Also, there's going to be some pre-war books if you want to collect those and get some caps. So yeah. Remember it goes all over the place when I'm fighting ghouls in this area. I don't know why. It's probably because I'm recording. Okay, so you want so once you've killed all the ghouls in here, you want to keep going straight on. And on your left, you'll see here, there's going to be a case, and there's going to be a raider right here, so let's just loot him. 
you're going to have um, a Chinese Army Spec Ops training manual and you're going to have a display case so you want to open that and there will be D. Lincoln's repeater so let me just show you it right here here you have the Lincoln's repeater so we've only got 13 bullets in it actually and it runs off 44 magnum rounds so yeah and hold on there's going to be another goal right here where is he Where is he? I can't seem to find him. Ah, doesn't matter. But we've got the Lincoln's Repeater, and it's actually really good. It's one of the best rifles in the game. And it can also be repaired with hunting rifles, so any spare hunting rifles that you don't need, you can use that to repair it. It does 30 damage, it has a weight of 5 and a value of 500. It also runs off to 44 Magnum rounds. And at full condition, it's amazing as well. So yeah, as you can see, it's also um, a really old gun. And the thing I don't get about this weapon is that it's meant to be 500 years old, and it still works. So that's what I don't get about this weapon. And yeah, so let's just go and show you some gameplay of the weapon right here, and I'll see you when I finish the gameplay. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that, ge enjoyed that gameplay there. As you can see, the rifle is very powerful, but 44 magnum rounds are short in supply, so I really can't get that much ammo for it. It's even rarer than rifle ammo, actually. But the weapon, as you can see, is really powerful. Sometimes it can be a one-hit headshot, sometimes it could be a two-hit headshot. But whatever, it's just an amazing rifle to have, and I definitely recommend this guide if you want to get it especially if you have lots of 44 magnum bullets. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.